Hello, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week of July 24th to the 30th, 2023. First card out for you is companionship, beautiful pink energy, which is the color of peace and your heart space and just a beautiful, gentle unfolding of energies. I feel that really strongly for you this week. It says when you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing that it will open the way for all healthy relationships. So Aries, I am seeing that a lot of you have been really enjoying your alone time and making the most of it, you know, not really necessarily needing anyone to make you happy. Uh, maybe you've been focusing on your own hobbies or adventures, solo traveling, things like that. And if that has been the case for you, I do see beautiful friendships uh, kind of unfolding for you at this time. And you might have been noticing this as well. Um, just some friends wanting to hang out more or beautiful relationships kind of in the unfolding processes this week for you. So that's really exciting. I love that. And if you have been really caught up with people, with friends who you don't really feel like you resonate with anymore, this is the week to embrace that aloneness. So there's kind of two groups of Aries I'm seeing here. Those of you who need to embrace your aloneness this week and enjoy your time alone because it honestly is better and more fun to be alone focusing on the things that you want to do as opposed to being surrounded by people who just don't resonate with you, who you feel drained to be around. So if you have been doing that, you will be attracting beautiful relationships this week. I feel like that's the case for most of you. And then for a few of you, it may be a call to spend more time alone this week, or maybe a little bit of both. We'll see. We also have There's Something Better. Yeah, this is confirmation for you guys that uh, there are better people out there for you. If you've been questioning anyone in your life, their place in your life, and also look at that pink energy again with the heart space and the green with the heart chakra. Mm, there's a lot of heart space energy coming through this week compassion opening up to someone allowing a friendship a new relationship to unfold here all because you're kind of acknowledging that there's something out there that is better for you you're letting go of the mediocre things and people in life you know the mediocre friendships that you had mediocre uh, job or hobbies, things that you just don't really enjoy. It doesn't set your soul on fire. I feel like you're kind of releasing that and enjoying your own little thing and allowing something better to unfold for you. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense to me in this reading, okay? We have Rider with the number 12 here. This is what this card looks like. And it says movement, quick decisions, progress, and excitement. Okay. I don't know why I'm seeing some of you spontaneously booking a trip this week, like spontaneously looking into plane tickets, maybe buying the plane ticket or uh, quickly making decisions here. Uh, it could even be a spontaneous invitation out to do something that you're like, you know what? F it, I'm going. And it turns out to be a really fun time. So uh, this week I would say embrace your spontaneity. It may lead you in really fun directions, okay? Also, I'm just seeing quickness in general. So uh, something may be moving quickly whether it's a friendship kind of unfolding, a relationship opening up, or again, these spontaneous decisions. Um, I, I do see you like making good progress though. Uh, and if you're focusing on your goals and dreams at this time, I see you're just like, you know what? You, you get this random burst of energy probably at the beginning of the week and you're just like boom, 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 getting things done, making a lot of uh, progress on your goals, okay? So we're gonna pull nine tarot cards, three rows of three to see into this week ahead. And this week we are using the Philly Tarot deck uh, by James Boyle. And I'm really excited for this because I'm from Philly and I, this is the first time I'm using this deck. First card out is the Four of Wands. Beautiful, with the paper, or paper clips. Uh, the, what are they called? Clothes pins, okay. Uh, this is actually a really good card to be your first card out. Uh, we're seeing some celebrations for you. You might've been going to a lot of weddings or celebrations of life or parties, get togethers, gatherings, things like that. So the weekend previous to this week starting, uh, you may have been going out, having a nice time out on the town, okay? Enjoying things. We see the yellow here, which is very optimistic, very fun. So yeah, lots of events going on all around you and uh, celebrations of life. People around you are growing and achieving and your loved ones, you know, you, you just love watching their journey of growth and becoming a more mature, wise person and being there alongside their life accomplishments. So yeah, there's a lot here about life accomplishments and success. 
So we love to have that as the first card out. Second card out is the Four of Swords. Okay, really interesting. So we have two fours coming out right next to each other, both upright. So things might have been a really really busy for you uh socially or they are getting busy for you socially this week so like we said there's those two groups of aries here if you feel like you've been celebrating a lot of people around you doing a lot going out a lot this might be like a catch-up week for you and for others of you uh this is a week where you are just really happy about the companions that you've attracted overall i just feel a sense of like gratitude for where you're at a sense of like deep inner peace with where you're at right now. So if you're one of the people who are choosing to just spend a little bit more time decompressing, focusing on your own thing, backing away from socializing for a moment, uh, I see you really happy with that decision. Like finally a week where I can just like settle down and, you know, focus on my own thing. And for others of you, this is like finally like beautiful soulmate friendships and relationships are unfolding and blossoming in my life. And it's like, you can see your accomplishments growing you can see the future clearly and you're attracting beautiful kindred souls to you at this time and it feels so great i love it third card out for you is the ace of pentacles in reversed with the septa token uh okay so this could be a blockage in money or an opportunity that you were wanting to come forward. Maybe it's not the right time yet. I'm getting something about timing here. Like it's not the right time yet, but this is still an idea in your mind. So for example, some of you might be wanting to invest in like a new car, a new apartment house, or maybe even like adopt a new pet or uh, make some type of bigger purchase of some sort. And it's like, all right, I'm almost there, but it's not quite time yet. I still wanna like, you know, get some things done on my to-do list, save up a little bit more money. It's an energy like that where it's just like, you know, wanting to prepare, wanting to gather your energy up before this big purchase or this big decision, all right? Uh, some of you, this could even be like planning, booking a trip. So it's like, you're, you're looking at things this week, you're saving your money up. Okay, like I have a good idea of what I wanna do. And you know, maybe in the beginning of the week, you're like, well, I should be saving my money up more, preparing for this purchase. But I feel like for a lot of you Aries, towards the end of the week, you're gonna be like, F it, I'm doing it. Like, let's just go for it. So that is one thing to look out for if you don't wanna do that. Uh, be mindful of your spontaneous spontaneous energies okay second row out fourth card for you is the three of cups in reversed okay so i definitely this is confirmation of you kind of backing away from relationships and friendships that just don't serve you uh, this could be a group of people or people who have been playing hot and cold with you or they've been making you feel really separated like if a group of friends or people you know throw a party they go out and they don't invite you for example that's kind of the energy i get from the three of cups reversed feeling a bit separated or no longer as deeply connected to someone or a group of people as you once were and you're like you know what this is just a good opportunity for me to reconnect with myself and just my hobbies my goals recenter myself this is like kind of like a fresh start for me so which is such a healthy way of looking at it and i i think this is honestly like just what you need you know sometimes people exit our lives in perfect timing uh when it's best for us and when it's best for them and it just it's going to trigger like a whole new awakening for you center of your spread is the 10 of cups i love it also i love that the cups are cheesesteaks <laughs> in this deck Ten of Cups, though, this is happiness. Like, I, I'm seeing a lot of happiness. I'm, I'm, I keep seeing visions of, like, your family, okay? Spending time, quality time with family or maybe even going on a trip, planning a trip with family. Uh, and by family, I mean, like, either your legitimate blood family or the people closest to you. Like, it's becoming very clear to you who is your soul family and who is not your soul family. And I just get this great sense of satisfaction uh, with the people who are here in your life. It's, it's very clear. And I, I see this clarity of mind for you this week where you're like, you know what? Here is a small group of people who are always there for me. They're always consistent. They always leave me feeling inspired and uplifted. They're such a good influence in my life. You know, I'm happy with that. I'm at peace with that. I don't need to hold on to these other people who make me feel separated, who are very inconsistent, hot and cold, you know? So it's a beautiful like revelation in your mind. You're like, these are my people. I love them. They're always here for me. They make me feel so loved and they're there through thick and thin through you know the bustling happy times and the sad times of healing like they are there for both of those 
Um, and there's kind of an acknowledgement within you to the people in your life. So Aries, I am actually seeing gratitude coming up here. Some of you might have been feeling guided to just express more gratitude and love, compassion, warmth to the people who are always there for you. So I'm seeing you actually complimenting people a lot, maybe even writing letters, uh, just explaining to people how much they mean to you and expressing that gratitude. It's very beautiful. I love it. Sixth card out, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Exactly. Oh my God, I love this. This is what it looks like upright in this deck with uh, Boathouse Row, I believe that is, near the art museum. Um, anyways, this is in reverse here and this is kind of confirming what we already saw, especially paired with the Three of Cups in reverse, you know, distancing yourself, walking away, spending more time alone, separated from people who you might have once shared a friendship with who make you feel isolated or it's just not good like you're just like you'd rather be alone you'd rather spend time alone and you have been doing that or you are doing that this week but because of that it's like the people the kindred souls who are meant to be in your life they come through loud and clear this week so it's kind of like a, a simultaneous you walking away from people who make you feel alone unsupported and you're saying you know what i love my alone time why am i even settling for these people who make me wish i was alone you may who make me wish that i should have stayed in you know what i'm saying like you're just distancing yourself from those people and it feels so good and then the people who are meant to be you know they they really shine through this week final row for you seventh card we have the six of swords in reversed this is what it looks like upright beautiful so you're finding your peace you are kind of mm, and and you know it's interesting because in this deck uh it has one person on the boat and normally in the tarot it's like a family so this to me is indicating like finding your peace in solitude like i am alone like this is the time where i can really just wear what i want to wear and like I, i'm seeing you're in your alone time you're making a lot of progress so it's kind of like i'm seeing you running zipping around your home uh maybe doing projects or getting things off your to-do list working cleaning, making beautiful meals, like whatever you want to do. Like I'm seeing you zipping around the house, having so much fun on your own. I'm also seeing driving and like listening to music and just being in that moment really zen, like beautiful moments by yourself is what I'm seeing this week for you. That just feels so much better than when you spend time with these friends. It feels very platonic, like walking away from a platonic sort of connection or group or situation that just no longer resonates. It doesn't just have to be platonic either. Uh, this could be uh, a business type of partnership, like maybe uh, you're no longer gonna go to a certain like therapist because you don't resonate with them or maybe even deciding, you know what, this hairdresser, I can't stand her. I'd, I'd rather just do it myself at home. So it, it could, there's so many different ways this energy can come through. Eighth card out for you is the Four of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, here's that energy we were picking up on earlier of saving your money, saving your coin, okay? To, uh, before you make a sort of big move, big purchase, uh, big plan here, it's kind of like, just let me, you're almost like nickel and diming yourself here. Some of you might be saying no to hanging out with someone or a group of people because it's like, I'd rather just stay and save money because I have this kind of bigger ambition um, on the horizon here. So really interesting. I see you conserving your energy as well as your money and your time. We have three fours came out in this reading, okay? Three four cards, four of pentacles, four of swords, four of wands, okay? Uh, only four that didn't come out is the four of cups. And we have, the, I was gonna say, what if the four of cups comes out? We have the three of pentacles in reverse, absolutely, yeah. Two three cards came out both in reverse. And guys, to me, this really shows a group of people that you do not resonate with, you're walking away. Some of you, this could even be like coworkers and you're like, I don't vibe with this. You know, I'd rather just do this on my own. All right, I'd rather just spend time with myself, okay? Uh, or, you know, this could even just show like, needing some time to just yourself, backing away from all the social gatherings and groups and you're just like, I'm gonna stay in, I'm gonna save my money, I'm gonna conserve my energies, recuperate. And it's from that energy of being alone, enjoying your alone time, that you're gonna make so much quick progress on your goals. Okay, Spirit's saying like, have you been overburdening yourself with social events and activities like make quality time for you to recuperate and like because it's when you're 
at having your alone time that you're really able to make progress on the things you want to see progress on that will benefit your self-growth your self-healing journey so spirit's kind of showing you doing that and i just keep looking back at this ten of cups and how happy it is like you just being happy with the small group of people like close friends this is definitely a week of appreciating your closest companions or family or the people who literally you could just be yourself around and spending time with them this week and on your own you know enough of these superficial connections these you know kind of external things also i want to say like any dramatic like stressful situation some of you if you were like willingly involving yourself in like a third party situation for example or a friend group you don't resonate with it's just like you know what? it's too much stress I'm, I'm getting rid of it like it's i'm done i'm walking away I just want to conserve my money, conserve my time. For some of you, this could even be dating, you know, taking a break from the dating apps, taking a break from dating in general to just save some money, some time, and just focus on you. And it's from that energy that you actually attract like an actual soulmate. So I think you get the gist of what I'm saying here. This is the energy of this week in general for you. So it's going to be a really good one. Uh, I definitely recommend watching for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs this week, though, to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Also, I should be posting the August reading shortly, so go ahead and check them out when they are uploaded. Of course, subscribe so you can see them. And if you want to help the channel out, like this video, subscribe, comment how this resonated down below. I also accept donations. Uh, the link to that is in the description box. All of the donations go back into the YouTube channel through purchasing tarot decks, uh, technology, better technology to film with, things like that. So thank you for those donations. And if you want to take it a step further, you can even get a personal psychic reading with me one-on-one. -on -one. I also offer spiritual life coaching sessions, really serious sessions where we dive into a big psychic reading once a week with the questions you have in mind and we really work through difficult chapters of your life together channeling messages from spirit and on a weekly basis it's beautiful and i also offer a goddess energy intention oil all of those services are on my website spiritpsychic.org link is always in the description thank you guys bye bye